Hey guys and welcome back to our Aston Villa Kayemo. This is the start of season 2. Last season we got promoted, we even won the league. I don't know how but we did it. And now we are in the BPL and of course I have to prepare my team. I want to change a few things. If you can't remember we have 17.5 million pounds as well as a right wage budget. Nothing too crazy. There are a few players you want to sell. We have the beast in tournament, so I think in total it's going to be 25 to 30 million pounds if you can sell everybody and can um, get a decent price money through the uh, beast in tournament. Yeah, and in the last episode, of course, I asked you who I should go for in certain positions. And um, if you are new or you forgot, Emma World, the mentor is called after him. Emma World, one of my my uh, one of you basically, one of the community. Um, who has been here for a very long time um, he has some kind of different rights you know so of course I'm the one uh, the dude who has to do it but if he's saying that I should do something if it's not completely crazy then I will do it so he basically is the guy who really says what what is going on in this series and he taught me a few names he taught me a few things so I want to go for that real fast and then tell you basically what I want to do in today's transfer window. What I will ask you was center bit, uh, center back, first choice center back. I taught you uh, backup left winger and first choice striker. For center back, well, he basically taught me Miazga. I taught you that I'm going to go for Jonathan Tarr, Rugani and Lemos. Of course, there are some well-known names and a lot of people are going for that. But I never ever in any FIFA uh, never used um, Rugani or Lemos before and Jonathan just for uh, two months. Uh, in a two season career mode in FIFA 16. So I didn't really use them too often yet and therefore I don't think it's too too bad if I use them. Yulan Tato, I think it's too expensive and I would definitely prefer Rugani over Lemos. So especially I will go for Rugani and Miazga. If Miazga has a decent rating, so of at least 75 and it's not too expensive, then I will go for Miazga because um, he told me to. If he is too expensive or just like 72, 73 rated, which I'm not sure about how high he rated he is, then I might decide against him and for Rugani. Yeah, this is center back position. Now left back backup, he told me to go especially for Ashley Young as he is an icon or a legend for Aston Villa. And um, he is probably 31 or even 32 in this um, career mode now because in the start he is like 30 so I think he should be 31. If not then definitely 32. So what I he is a bit he so mm, I, I don't really like him not in real life not in FIFA he is old he is probably still very expensive because he is decent rated he probably will ask for a lot of rage so he is really not what I would uh, um, like to do but he taught me to my winger what I was thinking about were Knapp and Berg I asked him if I should go for Knapp or Berg who he would prefer and he taught me I think um, let me check me first. So yeah, in the left wing wall as a backup, I was especially thinking about Serge Gnabry. He would have been my first choice and Berg uh, my second choice. But he would definitely prefer Berg over Gnabry. So I'm going for Gnabry as well as Ashley Young. If Ashley Young is not too expensive, I will, even though I don't really like him, still go for him. Maybe I'm actually... I, I've no, never really used him though. So I don't really 100% know if I would maybe even like him actually. So I will go for him. If he's not too expensive. So if he's too expensive, I will go for Berg. If not, I will go for Ashley Young. And now last but not least, the striker position. He told me to go for Borja Gonzalez from Swansea. I heard his name before, but I have no idea exactly who he is, basically. I just heard his name because of real life football, not even because of FIFA. So I will go for Borja Gonzalez. He also told me then, otherwise he would be, uh, like me to go for maybe Dahlberg. As, as well as I think he told me to go for Danny Ings, maybe. I have to check with fast. Um, I think he taught me Danny Ings as well. Yes, Dolberg and Danny Ings. So Danny Ings, I really do like him a lot. He was one of my definitely at least top three favorite players in FIFA 16. The thing though is for me he is just a backup. He is not special enough. He has no potential or whatever. He's not special enough for a first choice striker. If I would look for a backup, I probably would go for him straight away. But I don't look for a backup, I look for a first choice striker. So I will go for Timo Werner, my choice, and Dolberg. Yeah, you know everything I'm gonna do, um, I'm going for at least. And um, yeah, this is what I will do in this episode, the first big part of the transfer window. Um, yeah, okay, I like the team team more and I think it's easier to get into the final or something. So I will take this one in war. It's not the biggest transfer, um, the tournament prize money, but it's so just a slight difference that I think it's okay if I use this. 
on Tuesday. So Fiorentina, Udinese and Lyon are our group opponents. So let's talk about who I want to sell. Stair, I want to sell him. Golini, I would sell him for sure, but um, only if I find a replacement. But I want to look just for the free agent, and find a goalkeeper, sell this to, to get a bit more money. Chester, I like him a lot, but he's old and I don't need 5-6 um, center backs. Elvik, he, of course, I can now put him on the transfer list as well. Oxford, Witchers, I will keep him as backup. Amavi, Sissoko is already transfer listed. Hakimi Klosterman, so Makadi, Gardner, I, f I will keep him, I think. I will put him as uh, um, leave him at the transfer list, but I think I will keep him as long as I can't, uh, cannot find anybody else. Yelinag put on the transfer list. Neves, Cook, Chibola put on the transfer list. Um, Imbu, he's going a bit, but yeah. Borg is still loaned out, okay. Queen, uh, should I keep him alone? I think I will loan him out once more, and hopefully he will grow a bit more actually. Adoma can go. Polisic, Lozano, are you Murphy? I don't know, he is just 64 weighted, I will run him out again, but if he's not growing plus 4 or 5 next season, I don't think I will ever use him. McCormack, we enjoyed using him, but he will put in the tons of this the same for Kojia. Yes, they are not, oh, there is already interest shown, so we might be able to sell him. And you can see, we should get a lot of money for selling players, for sure. Um, so I think in total we will have enough money to make the transfers we want to do. We got a transfer offer for Gary Gardner. Oh, the thing is, I would definitely have to sign a backup. And I don't really have any uh, anybody in mind yet. For a lot of positions I have players on my shortlist or getting scouted. The only problem or position that's not, that's not the case is the CDM position. So I will think I will stall it. Normally it's the value, I will straight away accept it. Should I actually just do it? Uh, I really don't know, need him. Um, I don't need the money yet, so I think I will still stall it and I think I will accept it at some point. We got Twans of us for Gojia and Lozano. Of course, Lozano I'm not gonna sell. So let's have a look. Gojia, it's almost enough. I will count over with 4.5. I guess they should accept it. It's not a huge difference. So Gojia should not be a problem to sell and of course Lozano. Of course, I'm not gonna sell him, especially not for just 10 million pounds. That's not good. We made already an offer for a drawback. Now, Ajax also made an offer already on the fifth day for him. 7.5. I think we offered 4 million and Kojia. And Kojia has a value of 4 and 4.5 because they asked for 11. So we, to in total, would, with the value of Kojia, offer 8.5. I, I have to go quickly if I really want to do uh, go for him. Um, the problem is that my first choice is Boya um, uh, Baston and they didn't respond yet to my offer. So I m might actually have to just leave him and he will go to Ajax and this means then I will go for Boya, uh, for Boya and if Boya not possible I only have Timo Werner as backup. Which is not nice because if not Boya I really would have loved to try this dude out. So this is really not nice, but I can't really change anything. I cannot just sign him because he's not the dude I'm supposed to go for. So the first game I will just quick sim to not waste any time. Boom, 3-0 win with Lozano scoring twice and Stendera scoring a goal. So good start into this um, competition. Another transfer offer 4.4. I mean, I would count it. Uh, I don't really have to count over 4.5. So yeah. QPR, if you want to have him, 4.4 is a decent offer, I will accept this one, we don't have another offer. Yep, yeah, it really doesn't look like it. Dolberg, unfortunately, will not be the dude we're gonna sign. I actually think I might have even preferred him over Timo Werner, but yeah, it's definitely not gonna be Dolberg. So we can have a look at Boya Baston, um, uh, he told me, so Emerald, that he starts with an 80 rating, which means he gone up twice in the last season to 82. Very slow, no balance, no jumping, but good strength, a tank position, not really the tripling. I mean, I never would even think about using him because he doesn't even fit my tactics at all and I probably would have no fun at all to use him. Maybe Emerald is actually doing that because he wants me to say more, so he wants me to go for somebody who is good enough to be a first choice striker but not the type of player I like so that I don't use him and use Moes. Maybe that's his plan. We'll see. The good thing for me actually is, because I really don't want to use him, is that he's very expensive. So we will inquire. I don't know if I didn't do it or they just didn't react, but I did, still did not get an offer. 
22 million is his value, so if they ask for like 30, it's probably not possible. So this is the probably actually a good thing for me, because I really don't want to use him. Then I actually will still have to go for Timo Werner, because, yeah, the one guy just got signed by somebody else, and he might be too expensive. Deportivo also accepted 4.5, so it's now a race between Deportivo and QPR, who will get Kojia. And then we will get the, I don't know, 3.7, 3.8 probably, a million pounds into our transfer budget. So I can definitely tell you that I will not go for Yolanda I made an offer of, I think, 50 million pounds and Chester, who has a value of around 5 million pounds. They still do, um, do not accept, so there is no chance Yolanda Yolanda what the fuck, will not be the dude I will go for. Okay, first of all, we sold Kojia, so now we definitely need a striker. We got the message back. 42 million pounds. 42. I will make an offer for one, like, okay, 20 is the most I would spend. 20 million. It doesn't really make sense. If they ask for 42 and I offer 20, if they somehow accept, I will go for him. I have 70 million pounds in my transfer budget because of selling a player. Now I have 20.6. And you, you recommend a player who is worth 42 or who I would pop. Let's say they are for, uh, they, his value is 22, they want uh, 42. So I probably maybe I can actually get him for like 30 million pounds, which is still twice as much as I wanted to spend for a first choice striker. So he's probably definitely gonna be too expensive. So Leon next, we won 3-0, they lost 3-0, so in total we should win this quite easily. Let's see, we do just win 2-1, um, because Neves, our CDM scored two goals after they took the lead because of his center back, what the fuck. Klosman got a bad injury, so please, please tell me, just for a few weeks, he will be back when the season starts. Uh, two, uh, yeah, 12 days is perfect. Huh, Ashley Young just in the last few days... Got 32 years old. He's now 32 years old. Wow. And he wants 87 pounds per week. What the fuck? Who? What the fuck, man? But okay. Oh, 32 years old. Well, in the last 11 days, I made the. Oh, oh, I inquired like in the second or third. Then he was not 32. He was just 31. Why would they accept? Why would they ask for 42 and then accept not even half of that? Are they kidding me? Ah, they retarded. I was almost, I was actually happy that I didn't have to use this dude and now I probably still have to sign him. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. We got 6 points, they got 6 points, so if... I think they're actually uh, in front of... No, they're behind us because we got, uh, have the same amount of points, same goal defense, but we have one more goal. Because they won 1-0 and we won 2-1. But it seems like we're gonna win, so we don't even have to care because Shadera scored twice. 3-1, boom! 4-1 win because Dosano also scored two goals. So Shandera and Dosano, I think Dosano scored four or five goals in total and Shandera scored three in total. So these two scoring a lot of goals. We will now play against Augsburg. We got 1.7 million pounds for that. Manu finally accepted an offer. They want uh, 6.5k. He wants 90 motherfucking k in just a one year contract because he will probably straight away retire. Who do you want me to sign, man? Emerald, what's going on? 32 year old player who is earning way too much and a striker who is not even cl he can't he does oh, it just doesn't make sense Man, you are you're destroying my team right now. Oliver Berg accepted the contract. So Yeah, I could go from But if I tell you the thing I made him a normal offer of his 90k if Ashley Young accept, is accepting this contract offer I will sign him if he's not doing it, I will not offer him a new contract because I'm already going for 90k per week. That's more than he's earning at Man United. If he's declining that because he wants to scratch a uh, gave him important first in player, if he's declining it because of any kind of reason, I will not sign him but Oliver Burke. Okay, Mastrello, in the last two or three days ago, uh, before, ago, sorry, he said he wants 60k per week. Because he was earning 55 on his contract and wanted me, uh, me to offer him just 50. So he was 55 and wanted me to offer 50. I said, oh, that's cool. Now he just got a new contract earning 62 and now he, I said, and he declined the 50 to ask him for 60. Everything is against me right now. What the fuck is actually going on? Every single thing is against me. Also, you can see Knappi accepted work, of course. Because work accepted, I don't go for Knappi, so I can already claim do that. 
Um, Baston accepted. So here we go. We are signing Boya Baston. Does not make sense at all. Our budget is almost done and we signed somebody I don't even really want to use. But hey, okay. They are happy, so we probably maybe even get a bit more money. Can I actually check that? We were just one. Yeah, I think we just got one more million or something. I'm not sure. So we got our striker. Striker wing is done. If um, Marcelo is uh, accepting, I will go for Marcelo. Otherwise, I will go for Rick Henry for the left back. So I'm especially still looking for a center back. And I don't have any kind of money right now. So we definitely need some money we need to sign some uh, sell somebody or whatever because i don't have money so i forgot to put boston uh, boston a uh, baston what the fuck in there so i will do it after this game semi finals lozano is going only go three to one boom we do three, uh, win three one because they got equalized but then there again and there are two with a late goal diab got injured we don't need another injured player close one was just injured for 12 days that was fine so please say the same about him one day, okay, that's perfect. Head cut, okay, that's nothing. We got 3.1 million pounds, so that should help us to especially sign the left back, which I think is the next thing we're gonna do. Okay, what the fuck? I reviewed your contract offer with my agent, and we can't agree with your conditions because I have no intention of ever playing for your club, given the history between us. I don't think the fans would ever accept me, so it's not a move I can... Whatever that word means, making. Thank you for your interest. Uh, Emerald, I don't really know. You told me he's a, he is a legend something. I mean, I trusted you right now. I'm not 100% sure. But, um, okay. <laughs> I can't really make him another offer. He is not even saying he wants more money or he's just not sure if he wants to join me. He says there is, he will, he has, he has no attention to ever playing for the club. So, okay, Ash Young will not be the signing. Therefore, it's Oliver Burke. Oliver Burke, welcome to the club. So it's actually the wing position we're gonna do next. He is, of course, he's not a left wing, I know. But I can use him there. And, okay, what the actual fuck just happened? Oliver Berg, welcome to the squad with a decent potential. With a rating of 72. Here you can see his stats, he's very pacey. His stamina is decent. Physical sets have to go. I mean, he has not the most amazing sets. Right footed, I want to cut him inside, so that's perfectly fine. He will be my... Um, my left wing back up. So the money is really the biggest problem. We have a game against Florentina. If we win that, I think we right now got around 5 million pounds. So we would at least, I think we would get like 3.5. I want that mark if we win this. I will still quick some 3 to 1. Please, no, we do it lost because Godam Sarade has to score in the last minute. Fuck's sake. Now maybe I can finally sell somebody. I will count off with 2.5. Probably would even make sense to not sell him and use him in a um, swap deal, but I definitely want to sell him, uh, sell the players as soon as possible. He still wants more, so I think I will actually then not go for him, but for for Henri Henry because that dude is just getting annoying right now. Sunderland will accept it, so it seems like um, Chester will leave us and go to Sunderland. So Kasper Dolberg is gone to Rennes. Decent stat, actually not as good. I thought he would actually be more pacey, but okay. I will actually leave him. No, I don't need him. 75 rated is enough. He's not great, but um, probably also that because of that not too expensive. So let's inquire and let's see how much they want. We also signed a, a different one. So 1.8 million pounds or transfer budget. At least something. All right. We are on the first day of a new month. We got a transfer of a... I will count of 2.5. It's not too important, but I just want to do it. We also got another one for... Jordan, are you Schalke actually? Ah, no, I don't think it makes sense yet. So I wouldn't. Oh, I could. Ah, I could have maybe actually done that, but I, no, I want to keep him. So I will make a quick squad report, show you who um, who crew and um, who crew, and then I will just tell you what exactly will happen. So Diab gone up once. He's now 79 rated. We also have Rune West who gone up once to 79. We also have Shadera who gone up once to 79. So that's nice. Also Lozano gone up once to 79. Um, Baston is also growing actually, and Spencer is gone up, so hmm, yeah, well, you've gone up to 21. Police has gone up twice, or hike? What? He gone up twice? I actually have no idea how. He did not grow up with the training, so. Uh, he was 75 rated the last time I trained him, which, which was just a few days ago, so he gone up twice in this month. He's got an update. What the fuck? Okay, so. He's 77 rated, he improved his course in ready by 6, so I'm going, um, training him, but um, he, did, he did not improve his award in the training yet. Long pass plus 5, okay, nice. So, he is getting close to the rating at least from RU, but um, he, he has to feel decent as well. 
Cook gone up once, he's 76 rated. We got um, Stero gone up to 67. We got um, Unimportant Queen gone up to 69. We got Murphy gone up to 62, uh, 64. Burke gone up to 72. And that's it. So, yet the transfer window. We signed our first choice spiker, so we don't need another spiker. We signed our backup left winger, so we don't need another winger. We did not sign our backup center mid, as well as not our backup CDM. We don't really need a backup CDM because I told you I'm actually not that unhappy with, um, I forgot his name, but the backup CDM we have, even though he's not high rated. Um, but I definitely need a backup center mid. I, we, we, I will not go for Marcelo and Rick Henry, I will sign in the next few days. So Rick Henry, our backup left back is there, don't need a backup right back. So right now, the big thing is, I need still a first choice center back and I still need a backup center mid. And after the signing of Rick Henry, which will cost me a bit of money, just a million maybe, I, I don't, I, the thing is, I don't really have a lot of money. There are a few plays I scouted, so we can actually go for this be fast, so um, I will actually show you the, um, one two players I scouted. This dude, for example, seems quite interesting. He's 6 foot 1, seven, uh, 19 years old and has some decent stats. I don't know if he recently joined, but um, he is somebody I'm really interested in. I want to know your opinion on this dude. So right now I would go for especially for Miyazga, because um, Tar's too expensive, because I actually didn't go for Ugani yet, so what the fuck, why did I forget that? But this dude... Is 19 years old, 6 foot 0. He is pacey, so his physical skills are really decent. His main is, uh, physical uh, defending skills are not amazing, but he also has potential, I think. So I would have to train him a lot. Just somebody I want to know your opinion on. Next episode, we will go for the um, probably the rest of the transfer I'm not sure yet. Maybe not everything. I think tomorrow I will straight away up, uh, record the video before I upload the other one, so you don't really have time to tell me. But I think I will play all these games. So I've, I'm not going for the full transfer window yet. I think I will play the game against the Crystal Palace and Southampton and so, um, go for everything until that. And then the second next episode I will play against Chelsea and end the transfer window. So you have time to tell me who you want me to go for or any kind of solutions you might have for our problem we have right now of not having money and still needing at least the first choice center back. I can make some other things here and there, but the first choice center back is as well as the backup left back. These two are extremely important. Backup left back I will do for sure. The first choice center back is the most important thing right now because then we actually just need a backup center uh, CDM. So we don't really need anything else. To be honest, we just need two more players and our squad is fully done. And we still have a lot on players I can show you. We fast, the last thing I can show you. A lot of players on my um, um, I want to sell. So look at the tons of list. We have a player with 3.6 million pounds, with 1.4, 2.7, 1.3, Gardner for now keep 2.4, 1.3, but I'm gonna use him in the deal to get um, Rigon Henry. 2.2 and 2.9. Guys, I still hope you enjoyed this um, episode. If you have any kind of solution, please tell me. Tomorrow I will continue as well. In two days I will also upload. So in uh, tomorrow I will go for the first BPL games as well as um, the two, three more weeks of the PC tournament. Uh, of the transfer window. In two days I will finish the transfer window, so you just, just have time to tell me until then. And in three days I think I will continue with FM. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, please smash the like button. I will see you tomorrow, guys, with the next episode. Hopefully, I mean, it wasn't unsuccessful, but it could have been better. So hopefully tomorrow we can make at least, not only left back, but at least a center back um, uh, signing or the CDM signing as well. Have an amazing day, guys. I will see you tomorrow. And bye.